Creating shorts without applying the right effects can cause your videos to flatline like this. But editing your videos takes a lot of time. For example, this video that I did right there took me around four hours to create and it doesn't even look that good. Now, I'm not a pro editor. I'm guessing you aren't either, but you still want to create high quality videos. And that's where a tool like Submagic comes in handy. I've been testing out Submagic for a couple of months now and I will tell you exactly what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So you will know in the end of this video if it is worth to spend your $20 per month on this. Now, I'm not sponsored by Submagic to make this video. I will give you my honest opinion based on a creator standpoint and also on a marketing agency standpoint. So if you want to try it out for yourself, then you can try it out for free. And if you are already interested in Submagic and you want to support the channel, then check out this discount code that I have right there for you. And this will give you a little discount while also supports the channel. But before you do that, let's first head into the review and I will show you if it is actually worth your money. So if we head over to the website of Submagic, then it will tell you exactly what it does. It turns like these boring videos into a highly edited video like this with just the press of a button. They actually call it create viral shorts in seconds with AI. But it's not just for shorts. I will tell you another way that you can use this for, for example, your YouTube videos. And that's also one of the things that I like about it, but I would say they could advertise this a little bit better. Now, what Submagic does is it adds captions to your videos, it adds B-roll, it adds sound effects, it also adds emojis, and it gives you these good transitions like these zoom-ins. And lastly, you also have an AI description that it will generate for you. So let's log in and see what it looks like from the inside. The first step to creating your videos is uploading your own video. So I have one right here. And now we can give it a name. So I will name it Dan Kieft Introduction. Then you can select the language that you're speaking in. It supports a bunch of different languages. So I'm sure like one of your languages will be in there. And now you can hit upload. Now the uploading time actually has gotten a lot faster. In the past, it was one of my complaints because it took a while to generate like these captions. And boom, now it's done. So what it just has done is with the power of AI, it just added captions to my video. And these are the standard Homozy captions. You might have seen these from other videos. They're not that unique, but they are like the standard for every type of content creator that wants to have captions on their video. But let me show you a few other styles that I really like. Now we have the Devon style. This one moves a little. This one looks pretty cool. Then we have this one. Also pretty clean. Then we have the Homozy tree, looks pretty basic. Then we have this William effect. Now you can see they also add emojis in there as well. And this is something that you can turn on or you can leave this off. We have another Homozy effect. Then we have this David effect, which looks also pretty cool. We have the Iman Gatsi effect. This one is very clean, but as you can see on my pale skin, it doesn't look that good. Now we have the Ali Abdal style. This one is also one of my favorites. And we have Mr. Beast. Don't really like this one. Then we have this one, which looks pretty cool. Now we have the Noah effect. This one's also pretty decent. And then you can create your own custom style. So I have a few custom ones right there, which I really like. So after you've chosen a team that you like, then you can change the positioning. For example, I want this to have it a little bit lower. And what they have done is actually really useful. They have this feature. If you toggle this on, then it will show you like where the likes and where the caption of like your TikTok video will be. So for example, if I were to position it down here, then people won't really be able to read my subtitles. So you can change the positioning right like this, and then you can also change the size. So I would do it a little bit smaller and I would actually position it like here. And what you can do as well is you can change the highlighting colors. Uh, for example, we have this green, yellow and red right here, but you can change to any color that you'd like. And besides that, what I also really like is that they have a edit feature. So you can completely customize your own style. If you have the premium plan, then you can also upload your own font. And also you can change the fonts that they have. These are the fonts that are available. They are the most popular fonts that people use for their short form content. But I would highly suggest you to create your own style by uploading your own font. So I've just selected this font that is really popular. And then we can select if we want to have uppercase. And we can also change the color if we'd like. You can have it a little bit smaller. 
you can choose if you want to have shadows in there so you can do like dark shadows around it or you can do medium or you can also do like no shadow at all now i'm gonna go with medium then you can select like the stroke that you want so this is large for me and then i will also do like large shadows here you can display the amount of words per line so for example if i were to do like five or six it will be pretty crowded so i would leave that at around like maximum three or if you just want to do like one word then you can also do this now it doesn't really work correctly but you can change this later in the caption section so now i'm going to change to three words i'm going to change the positioning to move it down there and then we can select if we want to have animations and animation will mean that the emoji will be animated like sliding in into the video like as you can see right here the camera slides in into the video which is pretty cool now we can select if we want to have punctuation on there on captions i will always leave this off because no one really gives a shit about punctuation in short form content now one really cool feature that i recently found out is that they have animated the emoji so what i thought by animation was that it moved around but what they actually do is they apply some kind of effect to the emoji so take a look at the at the tv for example now the tv even has some animation in there so that is pretty cool as well so setting up your style will take you some time in the beginning but after you've done that then the next part is pretty easy and then we move over to the captions and here i have like a love hate relationship with the captions because the captions are done correctly but sometimes the lining of it isn't that great for example right here i'm introducing myself and i'm saying like my name is dan and what I would like to have is to have this word on the previous line. So what I have to do then is I have to do this manually and I have to add like a line break and now it is looking correctly. So that's the only issue that I have is that I have to go through each of these lines and then I have to make adjustments to make it look great. So for example, this word right here, I don't really like the way it is phrased. I would like to have like this word on the previous line. So I'm gonna remove the line break right here and then I'm gonna do it like right here. And now this looks way better. But this requires you to go through the entire like transcript, which will take you like a few minutes to do so. Besides that, they also introduced a new feature, which is still in beta, but this will automatically cut out the silent parts of your video. And I've tried it out, but it's not that great yet, but it will be there soon. Another cool feature that they have added is the sound effects. So let's just listen to a few effects. We have the ding effect. So these are some of the most popular effects that have been used in short form content and you can add them to any sentence that you'd like. Now the most exciting part for me is the b-roll section because this will actually replace a real editor because it has done this so well. And what you can do here is you can add b-roll on any type of section that you want. So if I want to add some b-roll like right here, then I can click on this plus button. Then I click on add. And now it finds b-roll based on the word that you're thinking. So for example, it finds word on marketing, but I can also do like editing. And now it finds the right b-roll that I can use. Then I can click on it Then I hit apply. And now here comes like some editing b-roll on this. Besides that, you can also add some transitions and they have a bunch of different transitions available. You have the classic film burn, which is pretty popular. Then we have this vintage effect. This one I also really like. We have a zoom out, we have a zoom fast, we have the comic and we have a zoom slow. So all of these effects are pretty cool and they don't require any editing. If you were to do this in Premiere Pro or in CapCut, it will take you some time to adjust it and to get it right. So here's what it looks like right now. My name is Dan, I'm a marketing agency owner and I've now decided to create... The only issue I have with this is that you cannot really adjust it easily if you want to change the effect length. So for example, right now this B-roll is taking like 8 seconds and if I want to change that, then I have to drag this over to the part where I want to change it and now it has changed. This is a bit tricky because if you were to do this in your timeline then you can just drag it over you can easily make it shorter and in premiere pro this is really easy to do but still for beginners this is cool to have and it's also cool that you can edit like this 
but it requires some skill or some getting used to to know how to work with this format. Here's the perfect example of what I struggled with when adding the b-roll. So take a look at this. I tried adding in the b-roll when I'd say about like AI and when I say about video editing. And the issue I had is that I can't find like the exact spot where I say something. For example, this timeline only gives me the seconds and it doesn't give me like the milliseconds so it can exactly position it at the right frame. So this takes some time to get used to it. But also I came across a mistake that it has made. So I mentioned something like this. Let me just listen to it. So on my channel, I will show you the best videos about AI. So I say, I will show you the best videos about AI, but it doesn't show up in the text right here. So if I want to change that, then I have to go to captions and then I will say, I will show you the best videos about, then I have to add in a word and that word will be AI. And now it's added in there. So this will sometimes happen where it miss a word or it doesn't correctly spell a word or you have to just change it. So always check the transcript if it has done it correctly. And after you've done that, then you are ready to add in your B-roll. So first step is do the style, then completely change the captions. And then lastly, add in your B-roll. With B-roll also, you can add a sound effect and they have added some good sound effects that you can use. You have this flash, then you have the camera focus, a pop, page turn, So for this film burn, for example, I always use the whoosh fire. And if you add in all of these sound effects, then your video looks pretty great. Lastly, we have the publish section and here you can add your own music. If you don't want this to happen with your video, then I would highly suggest adding in some music to your video. The last feature it has added in is a description generated with AI based on your transcript. And this will save you some time if you don't know what to write for your video. So you can take a look at it, you can generate a long version and overall it's pretty great, but it's also like pretty basic. So you can do this also with ChatGPT, but it's cool that it is in Submagic itself. Now let's compare the raw video to the edited video with Submagic and see which one you like the most. My name is Dan, I'm a marketing agency owner and I've now decided to create more content about content marketing because I really love that subject. So on my channel, I will show you the best videos about AI. I will show you the best videos about video editing and also digital marketing. So if you're interested into that, then make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. So which one do you like the most, the raw version or the edited version? For me, I really like how fast you can edit your videos with Submagic. You don't even need to learn like CapCut. You don't even need to learn Premiere. But is Submagic worth it? Well, let's take a look at the pricing and let me tell you which plan is the best one for you. So you can actually get started with Submagic for free. I wouldn't recommend it because it gives you three videos with a watermark. I would recommend either the basic plan or the pro plan. And I would suggest the pro plan to serious creators. And that's because you can use it in more different ways. With the pro plan, you can completely customize it and upload your own fonts. And you can also use this for your YouTube videos. This is actually a game changer to me. Besides editing short form content videos, you can also do like your horizontal YouTube videos. And here you can add in your subtitles like on the bottom right there and it will look awesome on your videos without putting in a lot of effort. Now for the pricing, I think it is really fairly priced because if you were to hire a short term content agency, it will cost you around $10 to $20 per video. And with Submagic, you can literally get 20 videos for just $16, or you can even get like 100 videos for $40. And if you want to save some extra money, use the discount code DANKEEF90. This will help me support the channel and it will give you a 10% discount. Click this video right here if you want to watch more videos where I implement Submagic and I hope to see you in the next video.